now we've got something really really special for you and uh, as any quite respectable um, TV program uh, you always have the news and here we've got some breaking news about the electromagnetic spectrum I hope you enjoy it because this group really put a lot of effort into this uh, presentation UV is mainly found from the sun. The sun emits ultraviolet radiation in UVA, UVB and UVC bands. The Earth's ozone layer la blocks 98.7% of this radiation. This image so shows a false colour image of the sun's corona as seen in deep ultraviolet as seen using the extreme ultraviolet imaging telescope. Another source of UV is UV light bulbs. They are also commonly known as black light bulbs. The electromagnetic radiation it emits almost a soft near ultraviolet range and doesn't emit much visible light. Light bulbs are also used in forensics and medicine. In medicine it is used for therapeutic and diagnostic purposes. The uses of UV include detecting forged banknotes and documents. These all contain a UV watermark that you can only see under a UV light. Passports and visa stamps usually have large detailed seals that are invisible under natural light but are invis extremely visible under a UV light. Therefore, any banknotes and most passports are illegible if they don't contain a UV watermark. There are dangers to prolonged exposure of UV radiation to your health. Overexposure to UVB radiation can have severe effects on our health. It causes sunburn and some forms of cancer. All three bands of UV radiation can damage your collagen fibers and as quickly ages the skin. Regularly using sunscreen will help to protect against damage to the skin, but only if its SPF is high enough. High levels of UVB light can damage the eyes too. Overexposure can lead to cataracts and eye structures like the retina and lens becoming damaged. Wearing sunglasses will help to prevent UV damage to the eyes. However, we do need some exposure to UV. UVB exposure encourages the production of vitamin D in the skin. Vitamin D in the skin helps bone growth, normal functioning of the nervous system and helps to keep blood pressure at a normal level. It is also used with psoriasis to help treat psoriasis. This is Beth and Thorpe reporting for Crossing News. The electromagnetic spectrum is the range of all possible frequencies of electromagnetic radiation. Within this, we have X-radiation, now more commonly known as X-rays. Applications of X-rays make use of this short wavelength to result in penetrating power, as in the medical X-rays of internal tissue, but the dense areas, such as bone, prevent their passage, shown as white areas on X-ray photographs. When you get an X-ray taken at a hospital, X-ray sensitive film is put on one side of your body, and X-rays are shot through you. Because our bones are dense and absorb more X-rays than your skin does, silhouettes of our bones and teeth show visibly. Metal absorbs even more X-rays, like the filling in this tub. X-rays are emitted by electrons outside the nucleus and the most common use is diagnostic imagery. Alternatively, X-rays can be used to treat cancer and detect disease